Today, we will see the preparation of three incredible teas crafted from three adaptogenic herbs. Tulsi, the queen of herbs, Moringa, the miracle tree, and Amla, the great rejuvenator, each promoting overall well-being and packed with its unique set of benefits. Welcome to Beyond Bumi. Adaptogens are herbs that support the body's ability to deal with stress, whether the stressor is physical, chemical, or biological. They are used to strengthen the immune system and increase overall vitality. Called in Ayurveda as the incomparable one, the queen of herbs and elixir of life, the holy basil or tulsi, called tulasi in Sanskrit, is revered for both its medicinal and spiritual properties. There is mounting evidence that Tulsi, because of its unique combination of pharmacological actions, can address physical, chemical, metabolic and psychological stress, acting as a tonic for the body, mind and spirit and offering solution to many modern-day health problems. Regular consumption of Tulsi tea has a calming effect, reducing stress anxiety and depression while fostering a sense of relaxation and well-being. There are many varieties of Tulsi, but the two most commonly kept types of Tulsi in Indian homes are Krishna Tulsi, also called as Shama Tulsi. This is distinguished by its purple or dark purple leaves and a peppery, clove-like aroma. The other Tulsi is Rama Tulsi. It has green leaves and a slightly sweet lemony fragrance. The botanical name of Tulsi or Holy Basil is Osimum Sanctum L, although it is also commonly referred to as Osimum Tenuflorum. Both are cultivated not only for their cultural and religious significance, but also for their medicinal properties. The presence of these Tulsi plants in households is often linked to the belief in their ability to purify the surroundings and contribute to overall well-being. To prepare the Tulsi tea, to a pan, add 1 and 1 fourth cup of water. Switch on the stove. Allow the water to boil. You can use any of the two varieties of Tulsi or even a combination of both. Both are equally beneficial. When the water starts boiling, add 8 to 10 fresh tulsi leaves. If you're using dried leaves, use half a teaspoon of the same. I'm using the Krishna tulsi leaves. Reduce the flame, stir, boil for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, switch off the flame. Keep the container on the stove as it will help retain the warmth of the tea. Cover with a tight lid and let it steep for 10 minutes for the pigments and other bioactive compounds such as essential oils, antioxidants and flavonoids to get infused. Open after 10 minutes. There is the lovely aroma of Tulsi and you can see that the color of the water has changed. This tea is good as such. If required, honey can be added at the time of serving. With its herbal and floral notes, Tulsi tea is soothing, refreshing and has a unique and distinct flavour that is often described as sweet, slightly spicy and aromatic. Tulsi leaves can also be dried and preserved for later use. For this purpose, Choose healthy and pesticide-free tulsi leaves. Harvest them in the morning when the essential oils are most concentrated. Once picked, gently wash the leaves to remove any dirt or debris. Allow the excess water to drain and spread on a clean cloth or paper towel. Allow the leaves to air dry in shade for five to six days or until the excess moisture is removed. You will know that they are dry when they feel crisp and crumble easily. 
store in airtight jars and use when required. The ability of Tulsi to protect against the damaging effects of various toxicants has been documented in numerous experimental studies. Scientifically recognized as one of the most nutrient-rich plants in the world, called Moringa oleifera, the Moringa tree also goes by several names, including the Miracle Tree, Drumstick Tree, Ben Oil, and Horseradish Tree, to name a few. Called by different names in different languages, the Moringa tree originated in India and is now prevalent in tropical areas throughout Southeast Asia. Additionally, the plant is cultivated and occurs in the wild in parts of Africa and Central America and Oceania. Research has shown that Moringa has antidepressive and anxiolytic effects and people who consume it regularly report an increase in endurance and energy. That is why this tree is considered an adaptogenic and anti-stress herb. To make Moringa tea, to a container, add 3 cups of water. Switch on the stove. Once the water gets heated, add the Moringa leaves. For 1 cup of water, you will need a handful or 1 fourth cup of fresh Moringa leaves. These are very tender and new leaves, so I am adding them as such. Otherwise, it is always better to remove the individual leaves and add them as the mature stalk tends to have a bitter taste. If you are using dried Moringa leaves, add 2 teaspoon for each cup and for Moringa powder, add 1 teaspoon per cup. Reduce the heat to medium, stir and allow to boil for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, switch off the stove, close and let it steep for 10 more minutes. If you like a stronger tea, you can boil for 5 more minutes. Moringa can tolerate high temperatures and longer brewing times. After 10 minutes, open, stir once more and strain. For 3 cups of water, you will get 2.5 cups of tea. Light and with a slightly earthy flavor, promote balance and boost energy with this refreshing, antioxidant-rich Moringa tea. To dry Moringa leaves, harvest or buy fresh and healthy Moringa leaves. The Moringa leaves can be wrapped in a cloth and kept outside for one day for easy removal of the leaves. Sometimes when you lightly tap the leaves, they tend to fall off on their own. Make sure that you remove all the stalk. Wash and dry. You can dry the leaves by spreading on a clean cloth. I am drying it in the same plate as the gaps in this help in good air circulation. Dry in the shade for 5 to 6 days or as required. Keep turning the leaves on and off. After 6 days, the leaves have dried and have become crisp and are easy to crumble. You can store them as such in airtight containers and use whenever required. Or you can powder and store. Amla, Indian gooseberry also called as Amalaki Nellikai, is native to India, Myanmar, Southern China, Malaysia and Sri Lanka. It is revered in traditional medicine, particularly in Ayurveda, for its numerous health benefits. Amla promotes memory, is sattvic in nature, bringing about clarity of mind and balanced emotions. Amla is considered an adaptogen helping the body adapt to stress. It rejuvenates all the tissues in the body, promoting anti-aging and longevity. Drinking Amla tea helps contribute to overall stress reduction and well-being. To prepare the Amla tea, take one medium-sized Amla. This is to prepare one large cup or two medium-sized cups of tea. Wash, 
pat dry the amla cut into pieces add to a mortar cut into smaller pieces and crush coarsely this will help the infusion of compounds and flavors from the amla into the water this will be about 2 teaspoons add 1 and 1/4 cup of water to a saucepan and switch on the stove when the water starts boiling reduce the heat and add the coarsely crushed amla if you do not have fresh amla you can also use dried amla or amla powder which is widely available use 1 teaspoon of the same allow to simmer for 15 seconds add 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of jaggery jaggery is added as a sweetener here as it will not only help balance the sourness tartness of amla but also as the abundant vitamin c in amla helps in the absorption of iron from the jaggery switch off the stove jaggery also helps eliminate toxins from the digestive system stir close tightly and allow to rest for 10 minutes After 10 minutes, open, stir once again and strain. Tangy, slightly sweet with a unique flavor profile, beat stress and boost immunity with this refreshing and nourishing amla herbal tea. naturally caffeine free prepare any of these teas to maintain balance and enhance well being if you enjoyed watching the video press the like button and subscribe to keep posted on more such interesting recipes thank you for joining take care and be well